Hey fellow back here boys, Nick here. And today I'm going to show you guys how I make a string using the one arm continuous loop string jig. Now, I have a video below showing how I usually find the length of a string for a bow. So you can check that out below in the description. But I've got this bow here and I'm going to be making a string for it today. So I've already figured out that this needs a 41 inch string. So we're going to be building a 41 inch continuous or endless loop string. So let's get started. Alright, so here's my little string making setup right here. I have my string material here. This is B50 Dacron. It's a polyester fiber. A fairly low stretch. It's used a lot for traditional bows. I've got this nice blue color to go with the bow. I've also got some nylon th serving thread that I'm going to be using. This is going to be for my center and these are going to be for my loops. Now you can use fishing line or pretty much any type of polyester or Dacron type of thread that's thick enough. Should be good for bowstring material. I've also got some beeswax. Beeswax I like the best. You can also buy bowstring wax and some paraffin based waxes. If they're a little on the stickier side, tend to work really well for this. I've also got some super glue here. This is just for making sure that your servings don't come out too quickly. I've got a knife. You could also use a pair of scissors or something just to trim up ends and then I have a measuring tape. The first thing I need to do is loosen up the pivot arm here because this will move back and forth and I want to figure out the distance here. I want it to be 41 inches that way I can build my 41 inch string. So you're measuring from the outside edge of one post to the outside edge of another. There's 41 inches. So once you've got your measurement, you just tighten down the pivot arm so that it doesn't move. When tightened down, it shouldn't move at all. You start by taking your string material. And what I like to do is just really simple. I go on the bottom and I make a few loops. This will lock the string in place and allow me to work it like this. So you bring that, you just bring it over, and now you just want to loop it around the jig however many times you want. I'm going for 16 strands on this just because I like the thickness of a 16 strand string. But really it's up to you. I've gone as low as about 12 with that grown, as high as 18. 14 to 16 though is usually where I like to build my strings. So I'm just going to keep doing this and I'll show you what it looks like once you've got it looped around. Okay, so once you've completed your loops, you want to take your excess string, the extra piece here, bring it back to this middle post here and you just want to twist it around this middle post until it's nice and tight so it won't move anywhere. Alright, so once you've got all of that, what you want to do is you just want to kind of hold this here and you want to loosen up the pivot arm and you want to go ahead and actually move it like this So once you've got it in place, 
you just want to go ahead and make sure you pull this tight and tighten your pivot up again. So now that we have this out here, we're going to be serving the loops. And before I serve the loops, I like to take this whole area and just run a little bit of wax into it. This will allow the serving to hold a little better. Alright, so now I'm going to move the camera and then I'm going to show you guys how to serve this. Alright, if you look at my pivot arm here, I've got one inch markings on it. This is so I can figure out where I'm going to start my serving so that the loop is the right size. Now, on this particular bow, because of the style of Sia's it has, I'm going to be making a 5 inch long loop. So what that means is I need to find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 inches away from the center on both sides and that way when I put these together I'll get a 5 inch loop. Now, because I want a little bit of overlap when I'm doing this, I'm actually going to start at 6 inches from each side and serve a 12 inch section. So, here we go. What I do is I take my serving jig. This is pretty much the same as the one I show how to make on my channel, except it's made with PVC instead of a tie plate. But it's pretty much the same thing. What you do is you line the string up with the marking here it tells me that it's at six inches so I start by bringing the serving jig over and I lay the serving thread onto the string material and I bring it up and I make a couple loops going over the end the loose end these are fairly light loops I'm not pulling hard at all. And once I've got them set, you just want to kind of pull the end here and get them really tight. Once they're tight, just make a few more loops until the server locks onto the string and then you just start serving. So I serve for about half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Then I take the loose end, pull it back, and then I start serving again. One thing to mention is that whatever direction you're serving in, you know, from left to right or right to left, if you're serving forward or serving backward, you just want to keep note of that because you want all your servings to be done in the same way. When you start mixing up your servings, when your string is being used, all these, uh, all your servings going in opposite directions will actually work themselves apart. So I'm just going to keep serving this until I get down to the six inch mark on this side, and then we're going to finish this wrap up. 